guys and welcome back to episode number 8 of the Celtic FC career mode return to glory. I know in the month of January we only had the three music games. We haven't even finished a month as the transfer window. I wanted to save that for the transfer window stuff. But the month of February is the real month. We flip over to February we have the eight games. First game is against Hamilton. Second game is against Motherwell. Then we have the Scottish Cup game versus Ross. And then we have a home game versus Hearts. And all four of those games will be simmed. I know it's a risk, but all four will be simmed. Then we will have a highlight game versus Aberdeen. A regular highlight clip versus Olympiacos. Then the same thing with Kilmanok. And then depending on how we do it in the first game against Olympiacos, the second leg, the home leg versus Olympiacos will be simmed as well. And for player of the month, it was no other than Usan. Edward once again, I think that is his third time winning player of the month. He has been on an absolute tear and There's nothing much more we can say about him. He has been the goal scoring machine that we need him to be this whole season So your player of the month For January is Edward and the only transfer offer that we actually got was in the last hour of the transfer deadline day and it was for Samanovic and it was from Monterey in Mexico not a move that would make any sense ever so he's just gonna stay put all right so the first game is against Hamilton and we are away and we are rolling out the complete starters on them as we have a Motherwell game that is four days away on Wednesday this game is currently on the Saturday so there's a couple time a couple days in between for rest so we are gonna roll out the starters let's see how they do in this game and also, Hamilton's form has not been looking good. We do pick up the 2-0 victory. Edward scores his brace, and that adds to his goal-scoring tally. All right, so next game is away at Fur Park versus Motherwell. And, yeah, we should definitely win this game. They are currently 1-1-1 one, one, one in their last three results, so hopefully we can make it another loss and get that win off their record. Once again, the starters are going to play in this game, just for the startings of it. Edward scores his third goal of the episode already. Bolognoli scores, and Forrest, and then Christie. 4-1 victory, and I see Forrester is injured once again. And so the Forrester injury is only a seven, pulled groin seven days, so that's that's all right. We just need to, need to watch him, because we cannot have him out, because Gordon did not do well at all when he was stepping up all right and so the next game we have up in this episode is another away game third one of this episode is against Ross County in the Scottish Cup and they're I think they won they won their last game but we beat them three games ago so hopefully we can also beat them we only beat them one nil and it was away so we it would be nice to beat them And we are rolling out the reserves, and reserves do pick up the victory. Two for Scott Sinclair, one for Johnston. Not bad, and we advance in the Scottish Cup. All right, so our next game is against Hearts, who are currently in fifth place. We are currently also two points ahead of Rangers, and they have slipped up and drew a game. We are going to run out the reserves because the Aberdeen game is only two days away in this busy month so hopefully the reserves can pick it up and we do need Ariar to Arier to come back sooner rather than later I know he was he's been out for quite some time now but his presence is starting to be missed once again the reserves are playing hopefully they, they do pick up the win Scott Sinclair scores his second goal of this episode Rajik comes on and comes off and scores so 2-0 victory over Hearts. And just as we are talking about Christophe Arrier, he does has been medically cleared to return to action. And we have the Aberdeen game, which he probably won't play. I'll save him for the Olympiacos. But he is back. And that is a big, big return to the team. He is probably the centerpiece for this team. So we are playing the third-ranked team. They are currently 17 points behind us. And there's pretty much no chance of them catching us at this point. We are also the top scoring team in the game, 
at 70 goals for in 26 games. That is not bad at all. Aberdeen is running the 4-2-3-1, which should be easy enough to break down with this team that we're running. Last game we played them, we did beat them by 2-0, I do believe it was. And we should take care of it easily. And goal for us, we have Fraser Forster. We have Bolognoli, Simonovic, Julian, and Taylor back in the back line. McGregor and Brown are the two anchors. Christy, Elianusi, and Forrest are the three behind Edward, who is up top in the strike position. Let's get into these highlights of this game. All right, so we pick up the action. First pass, right through him. Back heel from Edward to McGregor as he scores. Makes it 1-0 to Celtic. That was a great back heel. Great assist from Edward, actually. That was the first of his many assists in this game. Great goal from McGregor. Nothing much better. Then, in the 28th minute, Force has a run down the wing, crosses it in, and Christie gets to the end of it at the back post. You cannot draw that up any better, as I would say. And Christie with the first time finish on the volley. Just thankful I didn't time finish that and send it into the top row. And I thought something was iffy. This is Force's second goal as he gets a break. The ball just squirts out. He's faction everybody, just beats everybody to the ball. And laser beams it past the keeper. Nothing he can do just to score his second goal of the game. Not bad from James Forrest. And in the 51st minute, Edward with the chip pass to Christie with the flying header for his seventh goal of the season. Christie is really starting to come on form now. Edward with the freaking beautiful pass. I don't know why I've been doing that lately, but I haven't. It's been really effective, that pass has, so. Might seem be seeing more of that. And no less than seven minutes later, Edward finally gets on the score sheet, drives it deep, cuts back, center back was too slow, not agile enough to keep ball with him. Drives it all the way to the touchline, drives it back, and finesses it into the side netting, past the keeper. Edward has scored his 20th goal of the season. I'm pretty sure he's the lead goal scorer in the SPFL now. But the game wasn't over there. Aberdeen does get a goal. It was a garbage goal, really. I started playing around with the ball. And yeah, it's just a garbage goal. That's all that is. I would like to keep it clean for Fraser Forster, but it didn't happen. And no less than three minutes later, Sam Crossgrove puts an amazing volley in. I'm pretty sure if he had been farther out, that would have missed. Great cross from inside the box. I don't know how Samanovic did not get to the ball and what the hell was Fraser Forster Forrest Forrest doing, but that was that was a decent finish. Can't really be mad. So the game ends 2-6. to six. We had 11 shots, 10 on target, 57% possession, 95 pass accuracy, and 90 shot accuracy. They, they did not press on the ball at all, so that's why I had all the time in the world and all the passing. As for player of the game, we had a 9.5 in Edward, then a 10.0 and 10.0 for Ryan Christie and James Forrest. James Forrest was player of the game. Edward had the two assists and one goal. James Forrest had the one assist and two goals. So James Forrest is your player for this game. All right, big Europa League matchup against Olympiacos. We are off to Greece as they had the home game first, and hopefully we can put up at least three goals in this game to get the three away goals, so they have literally next to no chance of coming back in the, in the home leg, so. Let's get this game underway, let's see what happens. They are playing the center back we are looking at, Zizise, number 66, this is the center back we have been looking to buy, so we are actually going to scout him in this game, so hopefully, if he can stop us, we're definitely going to buy him. As the team gets ready for the team photo, we did not put Ariar in this game. I kind of forgot to, not to, not to mention, but Simonovic has been playing good, so we will keep him in there for now. And hopefully, we can take it to Olympiacos and get out of this group stage, this, this round. And Olympiacos get the game underway. I can already tell the player I like is he's a little slender, but he is pretty tall. And as soon as I get the ball, as soon as they turn the ball over, they press. Oh, Edward's on. 
Edward's going to finish that. Let's go. Edward on the run. They had their whole team pressed up. As soon as they turned the ball over, their whole team rushes forward. I caught him with a little through ball through. Edward gets the ball coming out on the other side. I think Christy passes it to him. Yes, he did. And Edward will slot it home near post. We are up 1 0 in the knockout stages in the Europa League over Olympiacos. Edward once again scores. What else can this man do? And it's a quality pass. Real danger. And will it no. Great pass. And they level the game. I thought for sure he was going to cross it high. So I kind of was playing off a little bit. But they cross it low. And the goalkeeper should have came out and got that. But he didn't. Well, here's the replay. Defenders don't like it when he goes to wide areas because they know what's going to happen. The ball's going to come in. Great cross. On that occasion, it comes Greg in, Taylor should have cleared that, but net. we're tied 1 1. Puts it on for Edouard. He cuts it back. He wants to take a shot right at the keeper. And the final player won't he won't step over the final player. Damn. Right before halftime. 1 1 and a half. We do have an away goal, though, so. If we can hold on to this, we, we're going to play the next game. We need to score at least two more. Had to make two changes at half. Jordan Morse is coming on for James Forrest. And Ellie Noose is coming off for Scott Sinclair as they both of them players are really tired. They've actually been chasing down these wings the whole game already. Let's go! Another one. Christy to McGregor again. Christie with two assists this game already. Two crucial assists. McGregor made the run from the CDM spot. Christie puts it up in the air. Center backs, I guess, lost the ball in flight. Actually, one of your center back, it was one of their, their center mids lost the ball. And McGregor beats everybody to the ball. Puts it over the keeper. Into the back of the net. Let's go, McGregor. What a goal. Jordan Morris gets to it, and that is it. A 2-1 victory in Greece means we have the two away goals, so hopefully that should be good enough to see us through for the next stage. Player of the game honors go to Ryan Christie as he had the two crucial assists. Edward with the goal, and Callum McGregor with the goal also. But Ryan Christie is the player of the game. All right, so we have... Another highlight game versus Kilmonok. We all know what happened last time we played them. They whipped our ass 3-0. And we are running the same lineup. So I'm giving these players at least some redemption. A redemption chance to come out there and beat Kilmonok. We're at home this time, so that should help. But Arya is actually going to come back and play as he still has a band-aid on him. As he has a still a little knock. But it's important to get him back into the team. Let's get into this game. All right, so getting into the first highlight of the game. Within the first 10 minutes, Bayou takes his first shot of the game. Bangs it in from outside of the box. Bayou looks like he might be back into a goal-scoring form as he puts a wonder strike on that one. Goalkeeper really had no chance at it at all. Bayou scores his sixth goal of the season, only playing in a limited amount of games. But not too long after we score in the 21st minute, they do get the equalizer. Left the, I uh, made the mistake of leaving the touchline wide open. The goalkeeper should have had the near post covered. Did not at Burke. Powers it past Gordon. Once again, Gordon cannot stop anything that is thrown his way. And Burke le levels the game at 1-1. But in the 39th minute, the Wonder Boy Bayou strikes once again, same corner. Almost identical shot. Puts it over to keeper. And yeah. This man was started off this match on fire. Gives us the lead at 2-1. After two wonder strikes from Bayou in the same game, he cannot be stopped. And later on in the second, Tom Rogic with some fancy footwork and a fancy finesse shot. Tom Rogic scores. And that, what a goal from Tom Rodgick to make it 3-1 to Celtic. And I'm pretty sure we will see it out from this point on. But they give us a little scare. They get a nice little chip pass through ball. 
in the 74th minute. And yeah, McKenzie bangs it home. Once again, another near post, one that Gordon could not stop. Yeah, Gordon needs to work on his near post. For player of the game, Bayou had a 9.2, but Tom Rogic with the goal and one assist is the player of the game at a 9.3. And that's a big win for us over Kilmonic. 3-2 victory. Not bad at all. We dominated in pretty much all facets of this game, as we should have in the first game, but I have no clue what happened. But we do pick up a big victory, and that's what we need. As we have won the first game against Olympiacos, we are going to send this game. The home game, we still be I mean, we're running out our strongest team, so we should at least come away with at least a 1-0 victory. At least a 1-0 loss will do it. So, let's see what happens as we go forward through this. Any type of victory or 1-0 loss will put us through. And it's a 2-2 draw. Taylor and Edward both score. And we are through. Let's go. We have beat Olympiacos. And we are through to the next round of Europa League. All right. Coming down for player of the month for February. We have three players in mind. Ryan Christie is one. He had two goals and a handful of assists in this episode. Bayou for his just for, solely for his performance against Kilmonic because we have been we got embarrassed by them last time and he stepped up to the plate and put two goals past their keeper, which we couldn't get any past the first time we played him. So he is also up. And then once again, we have Edward. He scored a lot of goals. And I think it was about six or seven goals in this episode. So Edward will once again be up for player of the month. And yeah, looking at the month of March, we have six games. So that's not bad. We do have a Rangers game, Old Firm Derby, on the 15th of March. Then. We had to play St. Etienne in the round of 16 in the Europa League. So that's not a bad draw also. So I cannot wait to get into the next round. But that will be it for today's episode. Thank y'all for watching. See y'all again later. Y'all have a good one.